Hey, what's up guys, it's Mario back again with our YouTube video. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about how are you able to earn free NFTs through the central land. So in the central land, there's actually a part of the, 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 uh, the virtual land where you could actually do some mining. Uh, so I will go over step-by-step step how to do that. And when you're able to mine, uh, you're able to collect precious stones like gems, diamonds, things like that. You could exchange for NFTs within the game which then you could flip for real crypto for mana, which again, you could convert to US dollars, to real money, to US dollars. So I'm gonna go over that in full detail in this video. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask me down below in the YouTube comments. And again, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down below to the YouTube channel. Uh, let me share my screen and let's get started, okay? All right, so I'm gonna share my screen. So let's do that really quickly, okay. So I wanted to quickly guys show you the, the price of mana. Mana is a cryptocurrency. Right now its price is $1.50. This is through Coinbase. And again, if you're able to earn mana by flipping those NFTs doing the central line, again, you could flip that and convert it to US dollar if you want. So now let me go to the central line really quick. Um, I do want to mention you do need to have a uh, MetaMask account. I already have one. Uh, so let me log in to the central line. This is their website, thecentralline.org. That's their website. Uh, you click on get started. Uh, when you, once you click on get started, uh, it's very simple. You click on play. And again, you're gonna be using your MetaMask. Now I've already signed into my MetaMask account already, uh, you know, using my, uh, my Chrome browser. So once I click on that, uh, it's gonna bring this up so I could log me in already. All I have to do is just click on sign in. And once I click on sign in, it actually logs me into uh, to Central Land. Okay, so right now we're just waiting for the Central Land to kind of load up. So I'm gonna walk you guys through uh, where you need to go to actually start mining and collecting these precious gems, so you could actually exchange them for real NFTs, which again you could come around and flip them uh, and stuff like that. So um, again, still waiting. Uh, one thing I want to mention, guys, is that it does take a while to load the central land. It does use a lot of, uh, you could say, a lot of bandwidth. So you got to have to kind of be patient and let it do its thing. Uh, so that's what I'm pretty much doing, okay? So I feel like we're almost there. Um, we're almost there. Just a couple seconds more. Okay. And yes, here we go. Okay. All right. So we're loading in. Okay, so now that I'm in, um, that's my character right there. So um, I'm gonna go over uh, and jump in. So this is when you come first come in, you're able to jump in and it takes you to, to pretty much one of the main areas of the central land. All right, there you go, I'm pretty much in. I'm in Genesis Plaza, one of the main areas in, in the central land. This is kind of like a visitor center and stuff like that. You could, you know, look for, you know, stuff and ask questions, things like that. But uh, I do want to jump in to the mining because the mining is where you could actually mine. And that's going to be Wonder Mine. And the way you do this, um, of course, you could click the letter X or you could click right here on Explore. Uh, once you're logged into the, the, the central land and then you want to click jump into wonder mine once you jump into wonder mine again it's going to load up it's going to take you straight to uh, wonder mine where you could actually start mining and collecting these precious gems which you could exchange so so let's uh let's wait on that shouldn't be too long um and as soon as I wait, what I'm gonna, as soon as I we get actually loaded up, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go straight to uh, an, an, a meteorite or an asteroid. I don't know exactly what it is. What would you call it in the virtual world? But you could say an asteroid, I guess. Uh, so I'm gonna go straight to an asteroid because usually what happens is asteroids, they literally just fall from the sky. And then you could just go there and start mining them, them with, the, with the, an ax. So, all right, here we are. So, Okay, so it's loading up a little bit. There you go. Okay, all right, so let's go. It is a little slow. You gotta kind of have to wait, 
way for it to kind of, kind of, uh, okay. Um, uh, let's go. All right, come on, come on. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. So, okay, so I'm pretty much there. Okay. So I'm pretty much there. Now, give me one second. I do need to fix this really quick. Okay, there you go. Fixing the camera really quick. The camera got disconnected, so give it a second. All right, you guys ever see me? Good, okay. So <clears throat> let's go straight to the mining. Uh, let's go straight to the asteroids. Let's see what kind of asteroids we got so we can start mining right away. All right, so let me see what we got. Okay. So there's an there's a asteroid right there. <clears throat> and so I'm walking straight to that asteroid and I'm gonna start mining as soon as I get close to it. Okay. All right. All right. So that's pretty much it. <clears throat> Once you're there, uh, close to it, all you have to do is click on your mouse, right click on it. And when you click right click on it, it starts hammering it, uh, starts mining it for you. So you kind of just have to wait until finish mining. And then once it does that, you're going to collect some uh, precious gems. All right, let's see what I got. <clears throat> All right, Meteor Mine, you've got some loot. Let's see what they gave me. Okay. All right, so I got a Wonder Coin and then some stuff. So I just wanna quickly mention guys, so I've been mining already. So here's my bag right here. And it kind of shows, you know, right here, what have I collected? So I've already collected some of these precious stones. I got some of these diamonds. Uh, so the more I have, the more I, and I, and again, I could just keep mining here for as long as I want. Uh, there's, there's some of, there's another one right here. Uh, let me just see what I get in this one, see what I could find. And again, these are the gems you collect and then you collect these and you could exchange them. And I'm going to show you guys where you could exchange them in a second. So let me mine this really quick. All right. Mining this really quick. Let it do its thing. All right, let's see what I got in this one. So I got one wonder coin on one gold diamond and I got an iron ore. All right, sweet. So what I'm gonna do now guys, again, you guys could pretty much do this on your own. It, it, it does take a while. It is a, it's a, it's a timing thing, of course, it does take time. But once you collect enough, you could co come over here to this machine over here and uh, exchange it. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys how you guys do that. So. Okay. So this is the machine you exchange your, your stuff that you've mined. And, uh, and it shows you what you can pretty much get. So I'm gonna click right here. Let's see what there is. Okay. so So pretty much I could exchange my stuff that I got it now so far. I don't have enough. I still need 20 of those purple diamonds, 15 of those uh, blue diamonds. I actually, uh, I need six. I already have 14. So I, six, I need six more of those uh, purple diamonds and I need uh, <clears throat> three more of those blue ones, uh, blue diamonds. And I need uh, actually five more of those uh, yellow, uh, yellow orange things. Whenever, when I'm able to get that, I'm able to upgrade to this new hammer. There's an iron hammer, or this is a bronze hammer. 
which uh, again, forged from copper with a hardwood handle, this ax is 10% more efficient than stone. So I'm able to mine even more. But the goal is pretty much to build up because once you kind of build up, you're able to kind of keep going and accumulate more. And then there you go. And then you could upgrade to this iron pickle, pickle which gives you 20% more. And then you upgrade to this, uh, let me see, this titanium one, which gives you 30% more. Uh, and then you upgrade to this, uh, what is this, a diamond one? No, this is the golden uh, pixcape. And this one gives you 40% more. So you kind of have to build it up. I, I, it's definitely time consuming, guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, and then you eventually get the diamond one, which is 50% more effective. Um, and eventually you get, now these are NFTs right here. The Warden Gene Pixie NFTs. Again, you can resell these in the market. Uh, these are, these are uh, axes that you can resell in the market. And then eventually you can get like glow metal, stuff like that. Uh, let me see what else is out there. Uh, you can get some uh, blue fabric. Now this is not an NFT. So let me see there. I know there's some other NFTs right here. There's like a hat that you could trade in too. Uh, not, what is this? Now this is an NFT. This is a meteor chaser earpiece NFT. So what is this? Is a ear transmitter wearable for your avatar provides a 3% mining bonus. So I guess it's all about building this, building, build, building yourself up in this game. The, the better the axe you have, the more efficient you're going to be at mining. This is another NFT. So the reason why I know it's an NFT because it's right here. It says NFC mask NFT. So let me see. Um, see, you can get even shoes, NFT shoes, again, which you could resell in the, in the secondary market for real dollars. Look, this hat, Mirror Chase hard hat. Um, let me see what else is out there. You know, clothes, stuff like that. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys in terms of that. Um, again, guys, it's all about mining. Um, and what I want to do, I want to log out of here because I want to show you guys because it, it, it kind of slows it down when I have this on, on the background. I am going to log out because it, it makes this thing very, very slow. Um, so what I want to do is I want to go to the marketplace. So again, it's under the central land. All I have to do is, of course, wait till it loads up. You click on market. So the central land.org, go to the marketplace. And then here is where you see the wearables. So let me see. Uh, okay. Start browsing. And again, these are the wearables that I was talking about, we were watching yet earlier. Now, let's, let me see the meter. Let me... Actually, accessories should be under accessories. Yep, here they are. See, these are some of the stuff that it was there for sale that you could earn. See, there's a meter at uh, sunglasses. Either worth 600 uh, mana. Again, mana right now is at a dollar, so it's worth $600. So you could earn enough uh, you know, you could say, uh, enough gemstones and then you could flip them. Now where you can, you sell them, you could pretty much sell them here. You could sell them here. You could sell them in this marketplace, or you could also go to open sea and sell them there too. So let me go to open sea. Yeah. So if you go to open sea, you could go to the central land. See, the central line wearables. So again, guys, these are all NFTs, meaning that you could flip them. See? So you could put these for sale. And uh, sorry about that, guys. So let me turn that off really quick. There you go. So you could put these for sale and flip them here in OpenSea in the secondary market. Uh, and again, these guys, these, these are probably priced in, in Ethereum. So that's the reason why the price is different. So that's pretty much, you know, how are you able to get free NFT? See, look, these are the shoes that were there. They're 499. Okay, 499 um, mana. 
which is like what seven hundred dollars, seven hundred thirty. These are the same shoes you could actually earn in the central land just through mining. Um, and actually, we got in some bids. You know, someone offered three hundred and twenty mana for them. So yeah, yeah, the guys, these are these are valuable guys. So. Um, I hope all this makes sense, guys. I, I know, I'm sorry, I do apologize for the lag and I apologize for those, um, the, the, uh, the ringtones and all that stuff. Uh, so thank you very much, guys. Hope you guys learned something from this video. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe down below to YouTube channel. You guys will hear from me soon. Take care.